Okay, it's just before one hour run time. Um, you can clearly see the bottom left here of the thermometer. We're at 150 degrees. The time elapses just about one hour. We're using 820 watts total in the system. Um, drill press and heat core. Um, I really am having a hard time with the RPM differential that it wants to jump from 870 to 1400. I know it's really hard to see here. Actually, it's damn near impossible to see on this uh, cell phone. But the grid, yeah, you can't even see that. That's too much vibration. Um, the grid shows the jump, that plate shows the jump, 870 to 14, 1440. Um, the, the thing is, is that optimally, optimally, this heater needs to draw 450 amps, or to, I'm not 450 amps, I'm sorry, 450 watts to 500 watts to optimally rise temperature at about one degree Fahrenheit every 20 seconds. If it doesn't have that load or that specific K factor, then the increase is a lot slower. So uh, we have ri continuously rising temperature from the 130 range uh, at like 40 minutes to uh, 155 and one hour, or 154 or one hour. Go back in time a little bit there. Um, the wattage usage and the flow in the entire system is 820 watts there, 821, 814. So and you got to kind of round things off. Voltage goes up and down, up and down, depending on the grid. Um, amperage is staying pretty steady, you know, right around 7 and 7 7 7.01 amps. I guess we can calculate that more in amp draw than anything, because uh, that's the actual load on the motor that we're looking for. The load equates to the load on the discs. The load on the disc equates to the temperature rise. Um, again, we're still rising in temperature, um, but I want to get it to where we're rising a little faster, and I just can't do this with this test stand. I need something that's going to be a variable speed that I can optimize the entire system in a closed system. Um, so we'll go, we'll go ahead and wait till this gets to about 180. When it gets to 180, I'm going to try and make the jump to 1440 on the RPMs. Um, hopefully, at that point, then we'll be able to, you know, uh, not overload the motor and burn the motor out. That's the whole idea: is trying to keep um, everything in balance on the entire system. You know, you don't want to. You want your duty cycle on this motor to be 100 percent be able to run all the time and so if you put too much strain on the motor it burns it up it's not a good thing um, expensive uh, mistake this is my TEC generator I'm actually working on right now on uh, producing some power so I know we'll get into all that later right now I'm just looking at increasing temperature as fast as possible staying at around a thousand watts I can't do that in my system that I have now but I will soon.